it's Courtney and Ryan here, and we're back with your weekly Money Minutes here in a coffee shop today. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we do a lot of our shows in coffee shops now, which is called Finances. Courtney and Ryan at a coffee shop. I like that. Yeah. It's actually because it got too cold and we got a little nervous <laughs> doing it outside, so here we are with our coffee. <laughs> it's not a bad plan B. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, no, what we wanted to talk about today is some recent concerns that we've been hearing from a lot of people, like that 20 to 30 age range of, you know, I hear a lot of people saying they have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, a 15-year plan. Is that an issue if I don't know what my plan is yet? Yeah, exactly right. It's, I think it's very intimidating to think, well, I don't know, I'm going to be 30 years out. I don't even have a now plan. Yeah. Um, and you, know, you were talking about someone you met with like last week. Deal, what? right? Young young yeah. woman um, has some money to invest and she had a lot of those same issues. Exactly. And yeah. what was interesting is she's one of a couple siblings and her sibling followed that more traditional path, so to speak, where they went to college and then they went to grad school and then they got married and they had kids and they bought a house and all the things that we kind of typically think of as the traditional way of doing things. Yeah, but She exactly. said, you know, that's just not who I am. I moved to New York. I'm trying to be an entrepreneur. I'm really not trying to do that traditional step, so what's my plan? Yeah, and that's like so much about us, right? But many of us come to New York, it's that reason. Yes. We're doing something a little less traditional, per se. Right. Um, but the reality of it is, is you start making money. Um, mm -hmm. let's, you might be building up money in your cash account right now. Like we had a woman come in the other day, she had $800,000 just sitting in cash. Yeah. She's like, I don't know what I'm doing. She doesn't have a now plan. Yeah. But it's like the stakes are getting higher and you really do have to start doing something, which I think is the kind of the key. Exactly. Yeah. And that first step, I know it can seem intimidating, is just sitting down and really kind of taking an inventory of, okay, here's what I'm doing now, here's how much I'm saving, the types of accounts I'm saving in, and then we can really try to map out what that's going to look like throughout your lifetime, and then from there we can work backwards and see you feasibly can start a business in five years or buy a house in ten years or whatever it might come up, you just know you yeah. have those options. Well, you know, even simpler than that, right? Just just need a budget. Like, let's start it's there. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and then might seem intimidating, and that's why we actually put together a guide below. You can click on it. Um, it's just basically for you to keep inventory or take inventory. Mm -hmm. It's a checklist to get started and just get the financial planning process started. So it's a lot less intimidating. I mean, if you start with that budget, yeah. really a lot of stuff can just transpire from there. And we're seeing Completely. that with a lot of people coming in now, like that woman. I had no idea what she was doing, but just sitting down and starting to map out like, what is she spending? What is she saving right now? Exactly. Yeah. And doing that younger is so important. And definitely click below. You guys can get access to the uh, budget worksheet we put together. It's really simple, not in as intimidating as it sounds. It's a great place to start. You can also click below and subscribe to our weekly content to stay up to date on everything that you guys may need to know in your personal financial situation. And as always, be, be bullish. bullish.